Here on Pippins pregame, alongside manager Marcus McKimmy for the final time this regular season, 54th game. The Pippins a huge win last night to put them right near the edge of clinching a playoff spot. And uh, the comeback from the team last night, we've seen it all season long, perseverance, that type of thing. A Corvallis group that had not lost a game leading after eight innings. Steve Sordal comes up with that clutch hit. But uh, talk about the, the perseverance, what you saw from the team last night, how they're able to pull that one out in the end. Yeah, just, just the resiliency that we've seen from these guys all summer. Just... Uh, coming, coming to a climax, and uh, super excited for, for that accomplishment and that feeling and those emotions, you know, um, because it's there, there's so much human to it, you know, so uh, so so many elements that that are what this thing's all about, and yeah, just happy for our guys to experience that in, in a great setting in front of a big crowd against a good club. You've got a, a group here that is obviously, as I mentioned, on the on the brink of clinching a playoff spot. But talk about this group, why maybe if they are to clinch a playoff spot, well, what's special about this group that can make them uh, go a little bit further? I know this is a franchise that hasn't won a playoff game before. This is a different team. What, 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 what makes this group unique as, as the ones you've coached before? Well, they play for each other. They're, you know, they've been through a lot together. Uh, not not that, you know, every team doesn't have, have their moments. But, but yeah, these guys – they, they've they've got the it and you know they want to be winners and they've they've had to go through go through the grind and, and some of the battles and really be uh, exposed uh, but they've never wavered you know we've said that before and just uh, just really excited to, to go through the journey with them and and watch them compete on a nightly basis you know if, if you followed this team or, or seen them play on multiple occasions it's uh, it's really exciting to see see the metamorphosis you know from start to start to finish and and just the the amount of buy-in that, that these guys have for themselves and for each other final thing for you here i know we've talked all season long about production with two outs the, the team at times they've come up with huge hits again last night mitch ellis obviously with that that huge hit i know brad beasley had the two run home run but mitch ellis the two rbi single then sword all down to the final out there in the ninth inning and talk about having a couple older guys come through ellis going to be a senior sword all going to be yeah. a senior as well the, the value of having those guys as leaders in the clubhouse and then uh, they build it to step up there in huge spots and come through no you're exactly right you know the the whole series and, and really this whole second half uh, the good and the bad is, you know, for, for whatever reason, been with two outs. You know, th those are those are huge parts of the game and, and parts that are easy to go back to uh, because they're all big moments, right, getting on and off the field. But uh, as far as Mitch goes and as far as Steve goes, yeah, those guys, uh, they're, they're the epitome of, of what we want, want from our guys as far as, you know, the way they carry themselves, the way they work, they're, they're great teammates, and to see them succeed – and, you know, in their last summer of playing amateur baseball, you know, uh, at, the, at this level, right, they're, they're, they're done uh, with their eligibility at, at this level. Very excited for them and just so, so happy and uh, just very, very lucky to have coached them this summer. Well, final regular season game tonight for the Pippins at 5.05. Liam Hurl, he will be on the mound. He'll make his first start. Pippins trying to lock up that final playoff spot in the West Coast League South.